Valve may have finally done it. The dream, the dream of leaving Windows behind, is starting to become real. Because for the first time, Valve has confirmed that SteamOS 3 is coming to the public. And not just for the Steam Deck, for any PC, any handheld, any device that dares escape Microsoft's clutches. This isn't just speculation anymore. We have real announcements, real partnerships, and real signs that Windows might actually have to start worrying about its grip on gaming PCs. And if you thought I was excited before, oh buddy, I've been waiting for this moment. Welcome to Zestius Tech, by the way. Be sure to leave a like and join the conversation in the comments below. So let's get right into it. SteamOS 3 is going public after March 2025. Valve confirmed it. They're officially opening the doors for anyone to install SteamOS on their own hardware. This means that if you want to turn your gaming PC into a dedicated lightweight Linux-powered console, you'll finally be able to. But that's not all. Valve isn't just making SteamOS available. They're partnering with Lenovo to release the Legion Go S, the first third-party handheld that will ship with SteamOS pre-installed. This is a big deal because if Lenovo is in on this, it means that other manufacturers might follow. Imagine a world where pre-built gaming PCs come with SteamOS by default instead of Windows, or at the very least a dual boot option. We could live in a world where mainstream PCs are shipping with a form of Linux, and Microsoft doesn't force you to install 15 different Xbox services just to launch a game. It's beautiful. But what about NVIDIA? Will SteamOS 3 work well with NVIDIA GPUs? Because before, it was all speculation. I was hopeful, but we actually have confirmed information now. Even when Linus Tech Tips made that video talking about how they could install SteamOS 3 on a third-party computer before it was officially announced, they had to do a system that was as similar to the Steam Deck as possible, and that meant no NVIDIA. But there is good news. Proton, the magic compatibility layer that lets Windows games run on Linux, now has DLSS 3 support. That is huge. It means that NVIDIA's AI-powered upscaling is being integrated into the SteamOS ecosystem, which could make performance significantly better for NVIDIA users. The bad news is that NVIDIA still has a history of being a pain for Linux. Driver support has been inconsistent, and while Valve is working to improve it, we don't yet have full confirmation of just how smooth the experience will be. Obviously, even when it comes out in March, it's still going to be in beta, so we're going to be able to try it, It'll just get better from there, so we're gonna we're gonna focus on that. There is also the fact that Valve and Nvidia are getting nice and friendly because GeForce Now is officially coming to the Steam Deck, and by extension, any device that so happens to have SteamOS 3 installed. GeForce Now isn't like the GeForce Experience; it's not strictly drivers, but it is their cloud gaming service with a native app on SteamOS. I think this is a big deal because it shows that NVIDIA isn't just ignoring Valve's push for a Windows-free gaming experience. If Valve is making room for NVIDIA's ecosystem inside of SteamOS, there's a good chance that native NVIDIA driver support will continue to improve as well. The more these two companies can make out with each other and be the best of friends, the happier I'm gonna be. As of right now, AMD is still the best experience for SteamOS because there's an AMD chip inside the Steam Deck, not very surprising, but we are going to see some major improvements as time goes on. Even with the launch of the beta, we'll see how things turn out. Now, as exciting as all of this is, one thing that still stands out to me, Valve is framing this as a handheld first operating system. Even though SteamOS is finally expanding, every major announcement so far, from the Steam Deck to Lenovo's Legion Go S, has been about handhelds. And there's been almost no discussion about desktop optimization, which makes me wonder if Valve is still designing this OS primarily for handheld gaming rather than a true Windows alternative for all PCs. There's little things like it not understanding that you're not running on battery power compared to being plugged in as a desktop. And don't get me wrong, I love the Steam Deck interface and I love portable consoles. But if SteamOS 3 is really meant to compete with Windows, it needs to function just as well on a desktop as it does on a handheld. That means proper multi-monitor support, customizable Windows management, and a UI that isn't just built around a touchscreen and gamepad controls. I still want that to be the primary, I still want a console experience, but you gotta have options. As many people have pointed out, a PC is for a lot more than just gaming, and SteamOS 3 
is probably not going to be the OS for people that are wanting to do a wide variety of productivity tasks in addition to gaming. You're probably going to want a dual boot. But optimizing their desktop environment in addition to their controller? See, <laughs> What I'm getting at is that in addition to a very controller focused interface, which I love and want them to have, the desktop interface should also get a lot of love for those using a mouse and keyboard that want that more traditional gaming experience, PC gaming experience. And this isn't just about giving people an alternative OS, it's about changing how we think about PC gaming. For years, we've been locked into Windows because it was the only real option, but now, SteamOS could offer something better, a lightweight OS that's actually optimized for gaming, no forced Windows updates interrupting your session, no ads, no bloatware, no weird AI copilot nonsense, just a clean, console-like experience that still gives you the power of a PC. And if Valve pulls this off, it could create real competition. Because let's be honest, Microsoft doesn't care about making Windows better for gamers. They just want to bundle Game Pass into every device possible. But Valve? Valve wants you to play your games. Sure, they, they could be an evil company creating their own walled garden. Let's not talk about that. But it's gaming first. And generally, generally, Valve is pretty user friendly. And by that, I mean friendly to its users. But that's why powered by SteamOS branding matters. If more manufacturers start using it, we could see an entire wave of gaming hardware that ditches Windows entirely, or at least offers an alternative. Something that'll let people see there is something out there besides just Windows. PC gaming isn't just Windows gaming. It can be so much more. My previous video said SteamOS 3 is going to kill gaming on Windows. And I don't think that's the future that we're heading towards. The future that I want to see that I think we're actually going to obtain is a world where on the next Steam hardware survey, we see maybe 10% Linux users, 20% Linux users, maybe even 30. It's not gonna kill gaming on Windows, but it will put a dent in it. Enough that Microsoft can actually feel like they have competition and have a reason to improve after years of stagnation. So now the big question, will you switch to SteamOS 3 once it's available? I know that I'm going to try it at the very least. I'm dual booting it because I'm so tired of Windows finding new ways to interrupt me when I'm streaming a game across my house. But what about you? Do you think that SteamOS could finally be a real Windows alternative? Or is it still too early or is it just too gaming focused to replace Windows for you? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe for more tech commentary videos. Thank you so much for listening to me yap and I'll see you in the next one.